Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay, where we have our child of Adam Ghoul who's just been eyebotted. Whoa, okay. He's just been eyebotted and uh, recognize a little sleepy spot. Good place to drop a save as we're entering this foggy morning to Blake Aberthy, where we can go, hey, dude, we got the mission about your kid and stuff. You're welcome. I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. Hells yeah. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And turn in the favor. Big job of experience. Now let's go ahead and find Connie and get some uh, more experience going. And by experience, I mean let's do some selling. Oh, beautiful, beautiful her. us. Mary. Can't I wait. Okay, we just did a trade. I gave her some of our buff outs. I'm finding that I'm carrying a lot of just bare bones equipment. Basically, it's equipment that. I really don't have any other useful, or excuse me, let me rephrase that a lot better. It's equipment that I, I use consistently. So, for example, I'm wearing Pompadour wig because I use that. I use all these pieces of equipment except the rags, which we will actually be putting into a location with our fusion cores soon enough. But it's, it's kind of interesting because I'm used to carrying a lot of leftover stuff and it'd be like, oh, my weight's changed. My weight doesn't really change very much now, unless I start selling some of these better bits of equipment and the like. It's, I love being able to do this, just straight into the radiation, no problem. We're A-OK. -okay. So this is actually pretty crappy. Um, I have to report my success to these guys here before I can come back here to do this. So we're just gonna be hanging out here, grabbing some stuff to move to our drive-in. And that's really all we're gonna be able to do because Crap, I uh, totally forgot about how I needed to turn it in first. So maybe I'll also continue doing that, but at the moment, I'm uh, not too excited about that fact and will at least be doing some changes to my weapons and uh, grabbing some cores. All right, as far as these pipe pistols go, the non-revolver 45 receiver is in fact the best we can make this gun go. Anything else isn't necessarily going to be affecting the damage that it does, and so we can consistently expect that it will just be our 33 with our ability to shoot pistols and other things that make this gun any better or not. Righteous Authority, turning this guy into a comfort grip. Look at that. Jumping up to 40 damage. That's pretty sick to see. Oh, I'm excited. So if we go up to Gun Nut 3, we can actually get ourselves to use this revolver as a 308, doing 64 damage a shot. That is, that is in fact, pretty good for a revolver. I mean, you could bring it back down to a 38, which doesn't do as much damage. Not worth the change at all. Um, but as you can see, we can actually jump this up to 46, which is cool. But... Check out, you know, our ooh baby does 41 and fires so much faster. The range is also pretty good too. So I would have to say that we're not going to take this sweet, sweet tactical tuned pistol. It's just as nice as it kind of is, you know, it's not going to be anything better than our 10 millimeter. It's not going to rip. And I would prefer to use the other pistol that is able to fire. Uh, this guy right here, is that able to go 33? Sure. This is able to go nice job right now I've got nothing else I need to right 46. Now. I think of course Preston it can. Want to chat, 10 more damage per shot, which is great for sneaking alike, but it's just not better than a 10 millimeter enough to make it worth our while. All right, so I'm removing the fusion cores from our toolbox here. I'm going to put the if I have to into this box. I'm going to put the muzzled, not the pipe. Actually, I think I'm going to put this guy in here too because we're not really using 45 rounds. And the Righteous Authority, we have so many microfusion cells. And it's a great gun that I think that's okay. I'm putting the O oh Baby and the Righteous Authority are our two weapons right now. And I think that's the right choice. It's going to lower our weight significantly. And we need that. Now, this is where I think Fallout 4 survival mode, when people talked about the no fast travel thing, gets kind of interesting. Take, for example, how... Now, I'm just clearing this, of course. This is just in the way. But take, for example, this moment now. I am back far away from our mission turn-in that I thought I needed to do. Sucks, uncool, whatnot. Oh, apparently I've never even gone to the Red Rocket. Interesting, I just ran right past this. All right, well, we're not gonna hang out with the dog right now. Dog, you're cool, but that's, now is just not the time, okay? No worries, I still like you, just now is not the time. Anyway, we have a, uh, you know, also, 
I'm going to check to see if our power armor has any fusion core in it. Because I just want to make sure that we didn't accidentally leave a fusion core in that. So our rad stag is still fortifying our carry weight. That is impressive. It's been a long time since we've had that rad stag. A couple hours, a couple saves even. So that's, that's cool. I'm impressed by that. Cool to see that everything's still pretty much here. Nope, nothing in that power armor. So, it's this is a bit of that problem I mentioned. Now, running through here is cool. There isn't any necessarily bad guys, and you actually can run through the world of Fallout 4 pretty quickly. But it still takes, you know, 15, 20 minutes on a straight run without stopping to get across. And, I mean, in comparison, some games, like, uh, I think it was the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas took about... 20 minutes of straight running to get across the entire world and that game was significantly less pocketed with things to do still it's like that was still a pretty big game so the imagine you know imagining what that's like in here how this game works oh check this out it's you know significantly bigger is there stuff up here oh wow hold on first person i i've never gone up here and done this before well i mean i've never taken this road here either Huh. Ooh. It has a bed. Wow. Wow. That's pretty cool. We just dropped a save, so I don't really think I want to do that. Especially because, you know, it takes another hour out of your day. I heard um, a person bring up that it would be interesting if they added a catnap feature. Oh, cool. Electrical thing fall down. Whoa! 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 Whoa, dogs! Whoa, dogs! Whoa, dogs! Okay, caught. Whoa! Okay, hello doggies. Whoa, whoa, okay. All right, hold on, dogs, hold on. Okay, okay. Up, 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 up. Whoo! <laughs> okay. I heard someone once uh, brought up that they thought it would be interesting if they had added like a catnap feature. Or because like right now if I wanted, like I just wanted to drop a save but I didn't want to sleep. It would be nice to be able to just drop the save. Man, this Righteous Authority looks so different. It's just a pistol to me. But, uh... I, and it kind of makes sense to me, though, that they make it an hour. Because now, it, like, it's costly to save. So you only want to save when it is use... Or, like, it is truly valuable. Two shots, and we are able to kill somebody with uh, our pistol lightning weapon. Quickly building up criticals, which is very cool. I'm also okay with using this weapon, because our ammunition for it is... So much higher. Uh oh. So much higher compared to the ammunition that we have with the 10mm right now. Not to mention, so much stronger of a weapon. And we're getting a lot of meat for this. I mean, the pistol was getting... Hold on, what was our pistol getting again? Let's do a double check. The Ooh Baby gets 43. The Righteous Authority gets 42. I think that's perfect. They're actually right down the middle. So now, once I get that awareness perk, which I've never really used ever, it'll be kind of nice because I'll be able to pick out who exactly I should be shooting with what. So that's going to be nice. And now we can do... Wow! All my salespeople are here. Well, let's get ready for this. Perfect. Let's do this. You know, there's some drugs here that I've never seen before. Overdrive, Fury. I haven't really seen those, so I think that's kind of interesting to, you know, like, what new things show up. I've been just trading jet, only jet, and so far I've taken out 500 caps from both Carla and the uh, dude who sells the caps or the drugs. Oh, <gasps> she has antibiotics. Taking those, awesome. Totally worth the nine medics to do that, plus the other stuff. All right, I mean we're really not using drugs very much, so it, it makes sense to me to be dropping things like that. You know, side note. Their kid is still strung out back here, right? Ooh, Rataway's in here. That's pretty sick. I thought I grabbed that. I guess I died at some point. Or they keep, re like, replenishing the Rataway in there, thinking, like, where does the Rataway go? So... Excuse me. Never take a hit of Jet again. I swear. I gotcha. It's interesting that I'm stealing a bottle if I take that. Funny that Wolfgang is right here, the very guy who, like, got her son all strung out. And they're just like, ah, whatever, he can be there. So... Anyway, so we sold most of our jet, we've sold most of our medics, we now have a very good supply of caps that are constantly growing using these drugs that we're not really using a lot, but when we do use them, oh god, do they save our lives. That blood bug moment, for example, was insane. Okay, now I think it's a good time to actually build a house here, because it seems like if I don't have a house, 
I get kind of sick. So let's see. Um, structures. Oh, right. Some of the new stuff. You know, I need a lot of wood to build this. I think that's okay because instant, instant ready to get the wood. That's something that I've never had too much to miss was wood. So I'm excited to see that. Plus, this place is filled with steel if you ever need any steel. Every single one of these cars just dumps steel for you. Super worthwhile. Now, do these give me nuclear material? No, they just give me steel, even though they're radioactive. It's a bit of a bummer. All right, we should take a nap. Get prepped for the next day. Oh, tired from lack of sleep. Well, let's 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 actually get a sleep then. All right, it's nighttime. Our rad stag is still filling our bellies. That's amazing. To make it, us be able to carry more stuff, I am very impressed by that. That is really cool. Plus, we got our hydration up. We can do some more cooking, and I can store some things right here. All right, as you can see, we've thrown the Child of Adam long brown rogues in there, the fusion cores, and everything that was needed. I think that'll be a good option for our character because now we don't have to carry it. It's closer to when we're actually getting everything together. And as you can see, we're moving along well with this character. We've got a good portion of the mission actually completed, putting our armor back on, patrolman sunglasses, army helmet, army fatigues. Ah, oh, very good. We have our extra strength and everything. Do a little bit of cooking and on our way to Diamond City. All right, so on our way to Diamond City, there's actually the Oberlin Station. It was the guys who asked us to clear out the Good Tidings co-op. So why not hit those guys too? We'll get a little experience boost as we do that. And we're also going to be running past the Corvega plant again from this angle. Ha! <sighs> well, hopefully we'll find something a little different as we're entering it because it's... Do you see that light over there? Like, through the bridge? I wonder what that is. That's pretty cool. Like, the draw distance of these games. I remember playing these games and it's just like, fog would be just beyond this this building. Like, you could hardly see that bridge there. But now you're seeing through the bridge and things behind it. That's very cool. Well, we'll pull out the... Actually, let's pull out the Righteous Authority. I like building up these really fast criticals. I think that makes great sense. I thought I just saw something fall in that distance. So, super duper mart. Oh, here's the b-ball court. You know, I once got in one little fight and my mom got scared and she, ha ha, yeah, of course you're gonna make that joke every time you go to the beach. Oh, God! Don't mind if I take your stuff, I guess. What's the two ball got? Plastic? All right, well. God, that sucks. It would be really inappropriate if I tried to... Oh, you can't actually shoot it. There we go. You have to drop it and then shoot it for that to work. Well, um, hold on. Let me see if I can get him out. Maybe up? Up? Yeah. I can eat people! You succumb to a dark craving? What? Oh my god. Is, is that what eating people is called? That was the first person I ate! I found him in a basketball hoop! I don't know how- how do you eat people? I've, I haven't even figured out that button yet. All right, I have no idea how to eat people. I, I'm guessing you can only eat a person once. So next human being we managed to kill, we're gonna try taking another bite. I love it's a, you succumb to a dark craving. Well, I think there are more people around here that I could probably eat. I bet that keeps my hunger at bay too. Let's see, hello. Oh wait, there was somebody who was around the back. We knocked them off the top from, ah, oh, their body's gone. Just surprising. This game is normally pretty good at, about keeping everybody around. Huh. All right, well, well, there's gonna be a couple more ghoul bodies that we're gonna be running up to in a second, so we can at least try our teeth in them. You crave a different kind of food. What? Did you... Wait a second. Hold on, am I? Dark craving, food no longer satisfies. Did we turn ourselves into... Oh. Oh my god, hold on. Hold on. Uh, let's look at Grilled Rad Roach. It still heals us. Do we not get full anymore from just food? Hold on. We're gonna do a quick save. Alright, we're gonna go to sleep over here. That would be... Fantastic. You crave a different kind of food. Is that like an antibiotics thing? Food no longer satisfies. That is really cool. That is 
fascinating if becoming a cannibal, your character actually only accepts cannibal foods. All right. Does that does that mean we have to also feed? Like, is that what we're gonna do for our role play? Is we're gonna have a character who must feed on the living? Or the dead, I guess technically feeding on the dead, but first they have to be living, because you know, they gotta be fresh, right? Does that mean if I could like, I can cook legs and limbs and stuff? That would be hilarious. If I could actually like kill a guy, grab their leg, and then like cook it later. Oh man, that'd be fun too. I'm here and shooting. Scavenger, he'll be the perfect person to try eating. <laughs> Our character was a good person, but now we're eating people. Things have changed. <laughs> Things have changed. All right, you guys still fighting the Mr. Gutsy? It seems that you are. All right, let's, let's see if we can help out a little bit. Oh, wow, this is doing a lot of damage. Yeah, you're welcome. Are you guys going to try to kill me now after I helped you? You know, some characters seem to not get all worried about you as a player, right? Like, these guys actually are just saying, hey, if you get any closer, we shoot you. So I'm like, all right. I back off. I just want to take my Mr. Gutsy and go. But a lot of really useful stuff. But now we can also shoot this. We can work together. Oh, wow, that protection is also really powerful. All right, yeah, you know what? I'll just leave you guys be. They, ooh, they keep telling us to get lost. Okay, you know what? I won't eat you. You know, I still have that food thing. Oop, that's a level up. I still have the food thing saying food no Oh God, we have to eat somebody. It's out of our character though to just eat those people, okay? We, we don't know who they are. There's no reason for us to just eat them, okay? I made my decision on that. Our ghoul character is still good. He likes to eat people though. I mean, who doesn't sometimes, of course. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that is a fascinating thing for them to change. And a bed's right here, hells yeah. Can I not take it? That's odd. You know, there's something real nearby, which I, I kind of want to hit for the experience. College Square, nice. Uh, so, but I can't use this bed then. Oh, there's even a bathroom right here. This is the perfect place to nap. All right, well, crap. Nope, never mind. At least Oberlin Station actually doesn't give us a bed either. Ugh. Well, now I'm not so sure what we're going to be doing. Well, at least we're going to hit Oberlin Station. And then once we hit Oberlin Station, we can turn our food. Eat corpse. Okay. Ah, look at all the blood just comes out of everywhere. You succumb to a dark craving. So, is that an antibiotics thing to fix? Oh. Hey, everybody. You know, I think these guys sell chems, so this actually might be just fine meeting these people. Hi. You look like you could use a little pick-me-up. Am I? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, totally. Okay, hold on, hold on. Back off a little bit, put on our sexy clothes. You know, sometimes the realism of this game amazes me. I mean, you could see in real life somebody with this hair and this dress. Whew. I would give the best prices to in a heartbeat. Let's see what you got. Fortunately, no antibiotics, so not really worth the final bit. But hey, -oh, it was wonderful to meet y'all. I can see him. Your hand, my hands are right here. Beautiful. Haha, <laughs> just like me. Haha. <laughs> that was weird. So, technically, if somebody was to say hands where I can see him and then I said they're right here beautiful to a girl that's a very sexist out of the box like why would you say that kind of moment I felt comfortable saying it at that moment because I was wearing a dress was in a pompadour wig and wearing fashionable glasses I have to say clearly my character is not in their right mind more of their left mind double back mind the Konami code mind you know, really just lots of weird directions of button presses Hey, hey, what's up? Oh, you guys, she gets the bed. Why don't you sleep on the bed with her? I, I cleared that place out for you. Should be safe for your friends to move in now. 101, that's pretty cool. So am I allowed to, s oh, I'm allowed to sleep here now because we've worked together. That's sick. Not quite the level up yet though. All right, let's uh, do a quick nap now. All right, this is being used. Well, hold on. Hey, hey, 
I hey. just want to trade a few things. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Ha <laughs> ha. Of course. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Just kick them out so that you can get... Oh, I feel ill. I'm lethargic. Crap. Okay, hold on. So now we can at least see if the antibiotics remove... Wow. Lethargy is negative 50%. All right, let's see if the antibiotics actually cures. No, I still have dark cravings. Okay. So, quick the Oh, we're not actually hungry, so we can't actually do that test yet. Oh, well. Interesting thing. Very, very cool to see that kind of effect from people who are cannibals. I mean, I just... I apparently don't have any bottles. That's unfortunate. Oh, I should have just drank water from there instead of using my purified water. Shoot. That wasn't an intelligent thing to do. All right, well, Jewel of the Commonwealth, on our way. Thank y'all. Thank y'all very much. This shotgun has 27 rounds. This one has 12. Yeah, the, the Righteous Authority is definitely our... This disconnected. The Righteous Authority definitely has everything that we really want in a pistol right now. <laughs> oh, God, I still... Does that mean if I laser someone to death and they turn into powder, I can't eat them? I think that's an important thing to know. <laughs> the dark craving. Food no longer satisfies. Well, what's interesting about that is if I'm just kind of generally eating people as I kill them, there are so many people in this game that I can just shoot and eat. Like, to be a, a productive cannibal in society, Fallout 4 is definitely a place where you could safely do that. I mean... Thinking about all the variety of creatures that are out here and raiders and everything. Holy crap, I can't eat super mutants though. Which I feel like would be, you know, it would be worth eating if I was into that. You know, I, I just, we're going to try to avoid them, I think. Hold on, actually, if I could get a line on them again, that would be kind of cool. I want to see how well the, there you go. Which way are they headed? Oh, that's the way that I want to go. Hmm. You know, maybe we could be friends. We both eat people. You know, that's a similar thing that I do, that they do. Uh-oh. Oh, I aggroed one? Just one? That's really interesting. Hold on, let's keep backing up and getting these brackets to move closer. There we go. There we go, big guy. And his friends don't come after him. That worked great. That worked really great. I'm happy to see that. Okay. it's uh, We were able to aggro just one and be fine. Ooh, there's bottles in here. Let's go ahead and pick some of these up. I'm going to do a little bit of looting now. All right. There wasn't anything particularly useful in there. Uh, I'm going to go searching for a bed now. But dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. We're cannibals now, and that is super fun. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.